Hello everyone, welcome back to the Minute Cryptic. Continuing my daily streak here with the next puzzle. Mock Bloody Revolution and Hide Guillotine. Question mark. Question marks always make things tricky because the clue is not going to have the structure you're used to. Uh, mock. I mean, it seems pretty clear that either mock or guillotine is the definition, right? You can't really have like mock bloody revolution be a definition of anything. And likewise, hide guillotine isn't going to be the definition. So like hide could be saying to look inside some other group of letters. Like if odirev were a word for a guillotine, maybe we'd be looking at something close, but I don't think that really makes sense. And anyway, that wouldn't use the word mock. So mock looks to me like it could plausibly be an anagram indicator saying, oh yeah, mess these letters up, put them in a weird order. I don't know. Uh, but bloody doesn't really anagram into anything. Um... I guess guillotine doesn't have to be a noun. It's also a verb. You behead someone if you guillotine them. Could there be some way to extract behead from this? Like, could mock bloody... Hmm. I don't know. Like some of the letters from head are in hide. Most of them are, right? But that's not really an answer. I don't know. Give me a letter. Okay, behead is the wrong idea. Par is here, huh? Well, so if I can ask for one more clue and still hear what they call par. Huh. Guillotine. Murder. Mock. I don't think, the hint is usually gonna tell me what the definition part is, and I don't think that's that important. I just want more letters? Guillotine. Cut off. Is there some way that parade means guillotine? Like maybe a block, a mock bloody revolution. Like, yeah, you could do a parade that was like a a retelling of the bloody revolution, right? Kind of. Well, I don't know. What is hide? What does hide mean? I'll I'll put in parade, I guess. I don't think it's that likely to be right. No.
deride is to mock. That must be the answer. Why is it the answer? Hide a guillotine from a bloody revolution? I don't know. Yeah, it's deride. Be right back. I'm going to go watch the explanation. All right. I watched it. It's a tough one. So the description is that guillotine is indicating to remove the first letter of hide, which, yeah, that makes sense to me. I maybe could have thought more about how guillotine could be part of the wordplay. Uh, I was thinking about, oh, hiding a guillotine in something, but that doesn't, no. Guillotine could be a, an indicator of something, and yes, removing the first letter makes sense. I agree. Um, so that gives you IDE. And the, you know, the guy here is like, well, okay, once you get IDE, you know, maybe you can start thinking of words that mean mock that end IDE, which is, yeah, okay, sure. You can come up with deride and then try to justify that which I don't think I would be able to do, but revolution here apparently is a reversal indicator. And a word that can mean bloody is red, as in like, you know, the red wedding in Game of Thrones, right? Um, so if you take red and write it backwards, you get der, and the der-eyed is deride. That's a tough one. I mean, and, uh, is an example of that, like, you know, I, 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 with cryptic crosswords, it sound, you sound like a conspiracy theorist deri describing how these things are connected to each other, right? I, I think I had a chance to be introduced to cryptic crosswords like a decade before I actually was. Because I was at a, I was at a convention and someone else was doing what I didn't understand at the time, but I think must in re retrospect have been a cryptic crossword. And they were describing how, like, some words were related to each other. And I was like, I just don't understand this at all. And then when later, I was actually introduced to a cryptic crossword on YouTube. I, I've said this before on my cryptic crossword videos. But I thought, like, for the first five to ten minutes of the video, I was like, this is a prank, right? You're describing these connections between words that are just ridiculously out there nobody could actually intend for you to put these things together so that's sort of how cryptic crosswords are in general this one feels that way to me even now like oh yes of course something ready bloody is red and if you revolve if you write red backwards it means dir and like if you guillotine the first letter off of hide you get eyed and like it's deride like sounds crazy i don't know that's part of the fun hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and i'll see you next time